Hi and welcome to the first makeup tutorial on Peachy Rebel. Uh, it's a recreation of the makeup worn by Pink in her video for Perfect. Uh, it's based around um, a brown kind of smoky eye and an illuminating effect um, to the skin. So I hope you enjoy it. And okay, so I've already um, moisturised my face um, and now I'm going to apply uh, Shuamura. I think that's how you pronounce it, their um, mousse primer. I'm just going to apply that all over the face. Now this is about, I think it's 27, that's 26 pounds I think it was. Um, so it's quite expensive but it is a really good product. Just helps to smoothen out your foundation, just gives it a really good base. Um, the foundation I'm going to use is Revlon Photo Ready. The look Ready. in this video that Pink is wearing, it's um, her skin is very illuminated. Um, yeah, there's a lot of contouring and a lot of highlighting going on, but there's uh, certainly a very, you know, definite glow to her skin. And the good thing about this uh, Photo Ready foundation is that um, it's got light reflecting particles in it, um, so it's very good for giving you that, that glow, but also giving you a good coverage as well. Okay, so I'm just going to apply a bit of concealer and I'm going to use a MAC Studio Finish in NC15. And then I'm going to apply um, just MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium. Again, um, mineralized powders are quite good, um, especially for this sort of look where you're trying to achieve a healthy glow to the skin, because a lot of them also have kind of like a, uh, a shimmer to them or light reflecting particles so it's really good I really like the uh, MAC uh, mineralized skin finishes because they uh, really do help set the skin and they don't make the uh, foundation or your skin look too cakey I'm going to use um, Harmony by MAC, it's just a blusher, and I'm going to use a small contour brush. I'm just going to highlight the cheekbones. The... I'm just going to take it up around the face as well. Just help. I just feel that when you use like a contouring powder um, properly, it really does help to shape the face better. I'm just going to use a wee bit. I'm going to put a bit more down the side of the nose than I am down the center, uh, just again to define a bit more. Okay, so um, to do the eyes, I'm just going to zoom in slightly just so that you can see it a bit better. First of all, I'm going to apply um, a Bare Study, which is a paint pot by MAC. As you can see there, it's got quite a sheen to it. I'm just going to put that all over the eyelid. And then I'm going to take the eyeshadow Antiqued by MAC. And I'm just going to use a 239 brush for this. I'm just going to place that all over the lid. And then bringing it up just beyond the um, crease. And on the outer corner, bringing it up closer towards the eyebrow bone. I'm just going to use a slightly larger brush there just to blend that slightly. I'm going to take a NARS eyeshadow, this is called McCall. I'm going to take a MAC um, 217 brush. I'm just going to start from the outer corner and bring that all the way along, all the way through the, uh, the lid there. want to try and make it a bit darker on the outer side there and I'm just going to take that 217 brush again and just take that all the way along the bottom with the Mekong 
I'm just going to take um, Carbon Eyeshadow by MAC. It's just a matte black. Just take that right in the corner there. Just slightly along the crease as well. Just helps to give a bit more definition. Just about a third of the way in on the bottom. I'm just going to take a thick angled brush and I'm going to use Vanilla again by MAC. I'm just going to take that along the brow bone. Use um, from MAC's Wonder Woman one of their palettes this, and that's called Manila Paper. I'm just using a very small brush for this. I'm just going to take that right in the corner. Take MAC um, eyeliner in Smolder, which is just a black matte um, eyeliner. I'm just going to take that all the way along the top of the uh, lash line. And I'm going to take it all the way along the bottom, well, kind of quarter way or third of the way along the bottom there, and on the top waterline as well. And I'll use the MAC pencil brush just to smudge that in. And with the um, 217 brush, I'm just going to apply a bit more of that Mekong along the bottom there. Use again a bit more carbon, just to try and get that a bit darker. Use um, Maybelline uh, the Falsies Mascara. I'll concentrate more to the uh, outer lashes. The eyes finished. I'm just going to zoom back out. Okay, so like I said, the um, illumination of the face is um, quite important um, on the video. So I'm going to use a bit of um, Illamasqua Gleam Cremal Duo Fibre Brush from MAC. I'm just going to put that all the way along. Like the top of the cheekbone there. And just around the eye. I'll just kind of smudge that in with my finger. Probably put a wee dab down the centre of the nose as well. Um, her lips are very nude in the video, so I'm just going to use um, MAC lip glass. Um, this is a lovely product, it's one of my favourites, and it really does uh, make your lips look like glass. Well, I think it does anyway. Um, and that is pretty much the finished look. So obviously I'm quite lucky because I've got similar hair to match. So yeah, so that's my pink um, perfect video recreation. Uh, so thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.